Hey there everybody and welcome back to Miss Pandari Beta. My name is Dasfell and I'm here to show you a little change with archaeology. Now before the Pandarans fragments, they didn't look like this. They were a little different. That was a bad example of them though. That one was kind of stuck half in the ground, so I will show another. But they changed it. I, I think it was just um, like a little tablet. Kind of like a stone tablet with the trolls. Sort of like that. But they changed it. It's black pot I believe is yeah it's like a black pot sort of zoom in on that so this is what they'll look like now it has a tie Ooh, it has a big tag on it they have not yet changed the mobu statue piece or the pendarns um arche archaeology fragments uh, so you won't be able to see a difference in those yet also, they did change that these now have their specific icons. Moku's actually looks pretty damn cool, I must admit. Um, before it was just, they look like Valkyrie. Uh, Valkyrie. Valkyrie. I hate that race so much. But now the Pandaren has its specific one, which you can see in the background there. And then the Moku has their specific one, which you can see in the background there. It's actually a really cool looking... Um, icon for an quote-unquote evil race because yeah I will say quote-unquote because you can't say anything World of Warcraft is truly evil really or you can but you can't because it's always like oh this corrupted that this corrupted that so yeah but if I come across a change with the mogul ones because I haven't found I haven't done archaeology in a long time so if I do a mogul spot and it's different I'll show you that too quick but other than that I'll see you next time and just to give another quick update, before I get over to the Mogu, I didn't think that the icons were actually in because if you look over here and also if you look at my completed, they're all still sword icons. So technically they're not done, but I just finished the Pandaren game board and now I can create this, but it also has its cool little icon, which actually looks like a little game board. So it's cool. It's created up and... I'm going to head over to the lore walkers with that. While I was right, it seems the Mogu archaeology find did change a little bit, unless that guy was just very deeply buried. Let's find another one, though. Oh, this one should be off the hill and shouldn't be buried, so... Uh, come on, pop up. I know you're going to... Oop, there you go. They're just being very laggy right now. So anything you do pretty much lags for a moment. Oh, nope, they did change it. Now it's just a creepy stone mogu head. And I'm under attack. But those are the changes to archaeology so far. Pretty cool, I say. And to avoid my death, I will see you next time. So along with those changes I showed you before, I'm going to show you a couple more. And I'm also going to solve two rares that uh, the Mogu and the Pandaren both have. Now this is the Mogu one, the Quillen Statuette. Let's see if it does anything fancy. Oop, if I can stop lagging. My fancy item. Hold. Oh. Oh, whoa! It's a trinket! Increase mastery by 406. Summon the artifact bound Quillen. Artifact details have been logged into blah blah blah. So I'm gonna let that 30 second cooldown thing go over and now I'm gonna solve this, the Umbrella of GG. What is this? The four Celestials. Discover the following artifacts of the Celestials. Oh, cool. And, oh wow, that's an offhand also. That's kinda cool that they're giving, um, these again, uh, blues and such, like these They'll probably be replaced pretty quickly, but hey, it's a free item. Stamina, intellect, mastery, and haste. What does it look like? Obviously an umbrella, but... Oh my god, is that transmogable? I don't know, but that would be cool if it could be. Because I can just imagine the transmogs that would go with that. <laughs> and now... Use. Oh, look at him. Got to grip you over here. How much damage does it do? 219, 215. Not very much. 
So it's not worth it at all. Is that supposed to hurt? Dude, you're talking. It's kind of cool. I'll take this guy out. But what I wanted to show you originally is a quest item that you can get from this. And with this, it, the iron amulet is just a regular Mogu artifact that you can collect. But I got this as a special one, a pristine iron amulet. It is different from the normal one, and it's kind of cool because, there you go. It's a quest, put the artifact on display, and you actually get to display your items, so that's pretty cool. It is just normal item going all the way back. So, iron amulet. Where is it? There you go. Iron amulet. It's just a normal one, but you can get these random spawn ones where they're pristine. So I'll be over back at the Seat of Knowledge, and I'll show you the little quest for it in just a minute. Now if you come on in, a book will be lit, lit up named Clutter. Remove the clutter and put the artifact on display. This will aid lore walkers and archaeologists in understanding the history of Pandaria. This huge iron amulet weighs as much as a battle axe. That is really cool. So I'm assuming that probably all these tables over here can be filled by an artifact. Actually, probably all of these tables in general can be filled by a pristine artifact. That's going to be really cool if you can do all that. And you do still get a restored uh, artifact with it. And I just want to point out one more quick thing while I'm around here. I noticed this as I was flying by, and there is now a Phoenix Egg Trader. So, Crimson Pandaric Phoenix, meet Ashen Pandaran Phoenix, and Emerald Pandaran Phoenix, and Violet. It's going to be pretty interesting. So, that's all for now, for real this time, and I'll see you next time.